Welcome back to Stronger Yoga Academy. Today, I'm going to be helping you make your yoga stronger. Hey, that's my job. You get out of here. Now that we've got that imposter out of the room, let's try to figure out how we can make your yoga practice stronger with what we call a lunging arc. This is my dear friend Monica, and we're going to show you how to lunge arc today. So what she's going to do is come into a crescent lunge. So she's lunging on her left leg. She's going to go, go ahead and reach up, Monica. This is your crescent lunge, right? You've seen this a hundred times, but what I'm going to show you is a way to build more strength into your body by creating an alternate version of your pose called a lunge arc. So what Monica is going to do is place her right hand into what we call a skull hold. Now, we'll take a better look at this in a second, but what she's doing is putting her hand on the side of her head, not the back of her head, not the top of her head, and she's also pointing her elbow where her chest is facing, okay? Now, this left hand is sort of hanging to the floor, but it feels like she's trying to reach down and touch a basketball. The first thing I want you to know is don't try to touch the floor, because when people try to touch the floor, they're gonna bend this back knee or they might lean forward to try to touch the floor. And what I want you to do is remember that we're in a lunge. That means that her shoulders would be touching the same wall that her butt would be touching. She's upright, in other words. And as she tries to reach down, she's going to be pressing her head into the palm of her right hand. And again, keeping the elbow close to the face. So we're going to break the pose and take a look at it from the other side. That was amazing, Monica. So what Monica's going to do is turn to face the other way, and she's going to step her right foot forward into that lunge. That way we can get a better job of the camera seeing her back body. Because one of the most important things to keep in mind is that when we go into lateral flexion, that's when you're moving sideways through your spine, is that your hips try to spin out of that. That means while she's trying to reach down and touch that invisible basketball, this hip is coming forward and this hip is coming back. So what she's gonna do instead is bring the left hip forward. Remember, your back leg is your steering leg. We have a video on that. If you wanna go back and take a look at that, I'll put a title card up there. Is she's trying to bring the back foot's hip forward, if that makes sense, and also when she reaches down, her chest might start to turn to the front leg. So she pulls, in this case, her left armpit back. Left hip forward, left armpit back. That means that she's really trying to purely operate the spine sideways instead of twisting in it. This pose is really much more difficult than Monica is leading you to believe. And I can see the look on her face that you can't see. This is how you make your poses stronger. Thank you, Monica. We'll be back again soon with another pose. Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking out this video on our instructional series. If you enjoyed it, please leave us a like. Be sure and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always up to speed on when our new content comes out. We are really passionate about helping yoga practitioners and yoga teachers get stronger in their teaching and in their practice. We've got more great videos on YouTube and lots of great content on our website. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.